Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking and today we're going to be making another slow cooker recipe. I love the slow cooker and with the holidays around stuff these are kind of like things you can set and forget for uh, maybe an hour or two. You got to kind of check on it but don't actually forget about it. But today we're going to be making an easy macaroni and cheese recipe. John's still in the hospital. He is here through a uh, Cut out, this was kind of expensive, so not that I wanted to be in the hospital, but I'm gonna use it if I can because I paid a lot of money for that thing. I'm gonna start, I've always liked the elbow. I like it for everything, red sauce, whatever, good meat sauce. Little shells are cool too. Just gonna throw it in here. This is one pound of macaroni and cheese. Then we got three cups of shredded cheese, and this is a mix of medium cheddar and extra sharp cheddar, and we're just gonna throw that in there. Just dump it all in there. All that goodness. Mm. Eight ounces of cream cheese. Just about a block of cream cheese. Just gonna throw that in there. Just diced it up. You can use other cheeses. Some people prefer American. I just, cream cheese always seems to make everything so nice and creamy. Two and a half cups of milk right here. Pour it in there all nice. I just mixed it up here, but we have a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. I just put them both together because I'm kind of short on a, what's it called, measuring cups here. Pour them both in here. Probably don't need this, but I'm gonna put a quarter stick of butter in just because. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Pepper going in. And then I'm just gonna give it a little stir. And this is gonna cook two and a half hours on low. We all know slow cookers cook at different temps, so keep an eye on it. it. Might take a little longer, might take a little less. I made this macaroni and cheese slow cooker, simple, simple recipe. Kind of tweaked some things, made it my way, you know? Look at that, mmm. Kids are gonna be definitely happy with that. I don't know if it beats our younger brother, but it sure does smell good, mmm. All right, so we're gonna take some macaroni and cheese, put in a ramekin, all right. Hit it with a little panko breadcrumbs, all right. Mmm, a little bit of bacon. I don't think we're gonna win healthiest award for this dish. Some more cheese, wow. All right. And then I'll just throw it in the oven. We got a little panko breadcrumbs on it, some slices of bacon, and a little extra cheese on it. That's uh, the mixture of the sharp and the um, medium cheddar, just on top. Hit it in the broiler. I hit both of them with a little bit of the torch to kind of give it a little, you know, little pretty photo. Um, and now is my favorite time. I'm going in. So, get some bacon up in there. Some mac and cheese, you got the panko. Oh, that crunch. Mm. Obviously, you're not gonna wanna cook it in the oven too long. You're gonna dry out your macaroni and cheese, but that is bomb. I feel like this is more like if you're having people over and you wanna impress them, and this is more like if your kids want macaroni and cheese, but you wanna go above and beyond the box kind. Both of them are very good, very easy to make. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'd greatly appreciate it. We're on all the social media platforms, mostly all of them, at J Bros Cooking. Our website is jbroscooking.com. John is still in the hospital. Hopefully he will be out soon and he can uh, actually be here and annoy me while I cook or I can annoy him. And keep him in your thoughts and prayers. We greatly appreciate that. And remember, it's always better when you make it yourself. J Bros out. <laughs>